we're going to be taking a look at some of the fan creations for Paragons in Balloons Tower Defense 6. We're going to be taking a look at all of the different art and styles and ideas that you guys have created. And please make sure to comment down below which is your favorite. So this is an engineer Paragon. Now this was nine months before the actual engineer Paragon was released, but if I'm being honest guys, I think this is way cooler than the current Paragon we have. He's on a robotic frog and his eyeballs are laser beams. This looks so cool. He's got like all of the things. He's got like these big cool glasses and he's kind of doing his thing. I love the concept behind this thing. I like the green as well. I, I don't know if there's any real like green in the normal engineer, but this is still pretty saucy. I don't know what these battery towers are back here, but maybe they work kind of like how the old village worked, where it had like the lightning tower that shot down. And he's got a little, he look, even his hands got like this mini gun. He's like, this would be actually so cool. Also, what does that red button on his gauntlet do? I want to know what that does, because that would be really cool. Huge shout out to PVT Magnus for this awesome creation. Hi Res Cucumber posted an Ice Paragon idea. I love this. I actually think this is so cool. Kind of gives me this Prince of Darkness vibe. It's very like, you know, he's the king of ice. He's got his he's got his spear. He's got like this cloak. He looks so freaking cool look at all the different he's different got different like things that go with him as well the different styles i definitely like this one the most this one's kind of ninja e like which is still pretty awesome there is actually so much concept art that went into this i would love an ice paragon like please i think that would be so so cool and so crisp this is definitely 10 out of 10 this is so good looking pvt magnus again what <laughs> this guy is coming in with some great ideas and he says, my attempt at making a Druid Paragon, how's it looking? It's looking amazing. That's what it's looking like. It actually captures all three of the features of each thing very, very well. And I think that'd be pretty difficult to do, mainly because each Druid is so drastically different. You got the, the you got the storms, then you got the nice nature side, and then you just got this angry dude, right? And those are your three different paths. And this does such a good job. Like he's got his like cloak is a dark thunder cloud, which red lightning, which is for the the druid of the, the wrath, mixed with your top path storm dude. And then you also you can see he's got the horns from the nature and he's just like and he's also got like that cloak so he's very refined but he's kind of like nature's wrath and i feel like that would be i think that would be the paragon name that would be my my suggestion is nature's wrath and like that would be so cool i love this guy this is so far is my favorite concept for the paragon it's so good a new concept for the spike factory paragon uh, by user deleted <laughs> the carpet of perma mines now we've seen how truly devastating a 555 spike factory can be I mean we ban it every time just because of how crazy it is I mean an ability to have perma spikes that are as strong as the giant skull bombs that are all over the track is absolutely devastating I have no idea what ninja kiwi has planned for this thing but they're gonna have to figure out how to balance it, but still keep that awesome ability. Carpet of perma mines, like, come on, come on. That's so good. Fish Market Stew posted, I designed what a sniper paragon might look like. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Here's the thing with the community is they have these like, this looks nothing like any of the snipers, right? Like it's completely its own thing, but you can still tell it's a sniper, right? He's got like this red laser. He's got like, I don't know what this, it looks kind of like the gun that the Mandalorian used in the Mandalorian show from Star Wars. Like, it's like this, like, I don't know, this pulse rifle. And he's got like this, you know, this beanie on and he's just like ready to go. He's got this backpack. You can see, and what I love about it is you can see that it's like this full auto, right? He, like, he's got this backpack with this chamber. So it's, it has this lightning, but you can tell it's got a powerful punch to it. Like, it's 
it's packing some damage here. Currently, the normal, like, 555 sniper, right? And that's the best thing we can to, like, compare it with the Paragon. It's kind of boring, right? It's just a sniper that shoots really fast, that has bouncing bullets, and does massive damage. Now, it's really powerful, but it's kind of, like, boring, right? I, I like buying Paragons because they're exciting and they're cool, right? Like, the Goliath Doomship is just awesome it's just so cool looking and i think that's one of the main things that you need with a paragon is it needs to look cool and i think this sniper would very much so do that give me some ideas for names comment down below what you think would be a cool name for this guy another paragon art by pvt magnus dude this guy needs to work for ninja kiwi this guy is making some crazy cool concepts and this is the alchemist paragon the witch doctor Ooh, he's got some cool, he's got some alchemy things going on over here. He's got his gold mixture. You can see he's got like the, the beast thing and he's kind of got this jackal and hide concept going on. I don't know how an alchemist paragon would work because of how different everything works, right? Because you got your top path alchemist, which is just for buffs, and then your middle one, which is kind of like it buffs other towers, and then like the bottom one where it has like the the rubber to gold, right? Balloon Master Alchemist. I'm really not sure how this would work. I think this would be amazing to see. I don't know what it would do. Maybe he just makes potions, and then the potions he gives to like the the monkeys turns them into like monsters and then like it's kind of like a permanent brew monster thing where it just gives them these crazy attack properties i don't know but i'd love to see this implemented into the game oh my gosh another one by pvt magnus who's just been coming in clutch and after ages here's my super monkey paragon the astral titan i love this i like this so much it's it's that one step above the sun. It's literally the galaxy. You've got the infinity symbol behind the monkey and it's just this silhouette and it's just pure cosmic energy that flows through this with the sun god. I like that it's simple. And what I mean by that is this is the true sun god like halo or crown and then like the infinity symbol. But it's just like a dart monkey, right? It, it's nothing crazy. It's nothing extravagant. It's just... It's just a dart monkey, but you can tell how powerful this guy is, right? What if literally the Paragon, it just goes down to like a normal dart monkey again, but he has this like silhouette and it's just crazy damage, like crazy. I think Super Monkey Paragon's my most looked forward to Paragon. And I think it's probably the one that Ninja Kiwi is going to release last, to be honest. Or maybe a Dartling Gunner Paragon. I think those two are the ones that I'm personally most looking forward to. Comic-Con says concept art for a mage paragon. I love this is this is so he literally it, it, it's the It's the prince of darkness, but he's got the mustache on like the skull. <laughs> That's so ridiculous That's amazing. I don't know what the green is in the staff but you can see, so it's the Prince of Darkness, and he's got the three different colors. And then you can see he's got the fire mustache, and then the skulls are different too. So he's got fire skull in this one, and then uh, like the water or like the magical in this one. I'm not sure what the green is on the, th the three staff points. And then he's got like the fire things. I like this. this is a, it's, a good, it's a good smorgasbord mismatch of all of the uh, different combinations of them. Comic-Con again with a spell. Spicy, spicy glue gunner paragon. Now, I don't know how the glue gunner paragon is going to work. I, I guess it would just be a kind of a mixture of the combination of all the strongest glues. I would assume, right? I think it would be kind of overpowered, though, because one of the things with the glue gunner is you can really only go one path of glue gunner because it, it makes the other paths kind of invalid, right? For example, if you have, like, the top path and, like, a bottom path, they, they kind of, like, they can't both, you can't have both glue on a balloon at the same time. So having this where he's, like, has just this ultra-powerful melting glue would be really really strong i mean he's got so many gizmos and gadgets and pipes all over the place with all these different like bubble gum glue stuff that i uh, the balloons would just they just wouldn't stand a chance they they got nothing on this guy burrito with a paragon bomb shooter fan art i like this it's such a unique 
art style. It doesn't like, it's not really Balloon's art style, but I really like it. I like how it's got wheels on it. And it's got, I, it's like an actual missile, ballistic missile. That looks so good. So that's design one. So this is the alternate concept. Honestly, the alternate concept is amazing too. Where it's like, it's like this spider robot that kind of like walks around with this orbital laser cannon. That is so nice. I like this a lot. I think this is really cool because again, I think bomb shooter Paragon, it's got some, it's got some heft to it, right? Because I think this is something that can combine all three tiers and all three paths very well. And what I mean by that is you, it's a recursive cluster bomb that stuns all of them. And then all the little miniature bombs that go out are the Moab Maulers just doing crazy damage to extra Moabs with the bonus frag damage. It would just be like a nuclear bomb that goes off just boom every time that it fires. And I would just love to see that. PVT Magnus again with some saucy content. I feel like this video is like a video dedicated to this guy for making such amazing content. If you're watching this video, Magnus, dude, you are incredibly talented. If you want, if you want to like work with me, bro, please hit me up, bro. Let's let's make some cool content together. <laughs> so he has the Sorcerer of Resurrection. Oh my goodness, this is so good. The Sorcerer of Resurrection. What a saucy name he's got with that. One of the things that I really like about this is that you can see it's all good, and then you might say. What about the Prince of Darkness, right? Like, why, what is, why doesn't it have any of this? But it does. It's the Sorcerer of Resurrection. The Prince of Darkness evilly respawns balloons, right? To create zombie necromancer bleh, brains. But not this guy. This is, this is what happens when you mix bringing back life with the good side of the Wizard Lord Phoenix as well as the Archmage. It turns into this awesome positive rebirth of resurrection, which is going to be infinitely stronger than the work of evil, my friends. And I think this is, oh, I don't know which of these is my favorite, but they're all so good. This is what it would look like if a red balloon was a paragon. <laughs> dude, dude, how many abs? Oh, wait, he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's got a 12 pack. Literally, look how strong that red balloon, <laughs> that dart, that dude, he dropped his dart. He's like, oh my God, the red balloon's having none of it anymore. This is what would happen if there was a red balloon paragon. <laughs> Spaghetti, that's actually so saucy, my guy. Remake of the tax shooter paragon. Paragon concept. Whoa, what am I looking at here? What's happening? What is it? Is that water? That's whoa! That's so cool. So look, so it shoots, so it looks like so you have the blade maelstroms and it shoots out those and then it has this water instead of fire and instead of like a fireball it looks like it's this orbital beam cannon like and then it comes down on top of the balloons and then when it lands you can see that these things also shoot out as well that is awesome that actually is so good the super butternut <laughs> that's an epic name this is i like this and last but not least Another super monkey paragon, the universal paragon. That is so cool. He's got three tails and he literally, he's ascended the temple. He just floats there. He's just sitting there using his brain power. He's got an extra, he's actually got three, six arms in total. And he's got little sun tumbles floating around him. The universal, the one to rule them all. $50 million? So it requires the true sun god, the anti-balloon, and legend of the night absorbs all towers on screen, including paragons and heroes. Cannot be summoned from the ventral true sun god. Degree level based on money, pops, paragon power, and hero XP. Holy cow. That is insane. Literally, guys, should I make... A video on this should we create this mod let me know in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great day everyone i'll see you tomorrow for some more epic content bye